welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Uh, welcome to well, almost the end of the DIY drop-off and or river tank build. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the last uh, video, I think, of the actual installation. Uh, any videos after this will just be uh, decorations and uh, seeing how it all flows and runs, and then updates after that. As you, as you can tell, what I'm doing here is I'm disassembling the pump. This is going to be the pump that's going to go in the tank. Uh, if you remember from the 175 uh, reef tank build, uh, I got a leaker right out of the box, and that is uh, most annoying. Uh, so I've gone back to my old standby, I disassemble the pumps, uh, I check them all over, make sure the shafts and uh, the impeller are all okay, and check for the o-ring. Then for added security, what I'm doing is I'm running a bead of silicone between the two, and making sure that I don't have that problem ever again. It's uh, kind of disconcerting for a client that you set up a system and uh, even though the pump is beyond your control technically, it's just not good to have it leak. So this will prevent that problem from happening. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you the installation of the uh, filter itself. It's the same as for the 175 ga gallon build or if you want to watch the DIY leak proof canister filter video you can go ahead and see that through that. And there you can see it in the background. Uh, it's all assembled, it's all been glued and put in place. Uh, the only difference from this one from the other one is I used uh, lava rock instead of coral. Uh, crushed coral is a lot more expensive and not necessary for a freshwater tank. Uh, the lava rock is uh, just as good for filtration purposes uh, and you just again use different sizes. Like Just, <laughs> just watch the other video, you'll, you'll see all the, the whole process there. So what I'm doing here now is I am hooking up the inch and a half unions, which are going to hook the pump up to the rest of the uh, plumbing system. Uh, these are the same unions I used in the uh, other build. I find them extremely useful. Uh, don't bother using the cheap ones that you can get that are in ABS. They're, I know they're only like about $3 compared to $15 for these. Uh, these are well worth it. Uh, if you ever have to uh, pull out the pump and replace anything, <laughs> you'll understand completely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue this all on and uh, I'm going to uh, get it all set and ready to go. It's going to cure overnight. Uh, the other thing that's different on this build versus the other one is um, the other tank had a bottom drill. So uh, the forces that are on that uh, pipe are a lot different than they are on this one. So what I'm going to need to do here after I uh, get this all set and ready to uh, attach is I am going to have to uh, build a small little platform for uh, the pump to sit on. Uh, that's just so that there's no extra torque uh, and gonna f I don't think there's any possibility of uh, the pump uh, causing any cracking or anything in the fixtures but just to be on the safe side and also because uh, when I was uh, talking uh, to the client about how this is going to look uh, we decided we we're going to go for an industrial look, which means everything's going to be exposed, and uh, that means that uh, I don't want anything to be, you know, even slightly out of alignment on this. I want everything to look perfect. Uh, so if I have a little extra weight on that, uh, this is the pipe here that's going to hang off of. If there's any little extra weight on that, what it's going to end up doing is uh, causing a you know, maybe a slight tilt to it, and uh, that's really unacceptable. So here I am just going to glue these pipes on and give it all set and ready for the rest of the installation for uh, the pump. And what I'm going to do after uh, I get these on is I am going to uh, fabricate the small little uh, well aluminum platform because it has to match uh, the rest of the aluminum here uh, just so it will take the weight off of uh, uh, the, the pieces of plumbing. So here we are. Uh, this is just another gratuitous <laughs> clip of me using my belt sander that I built. And it's going to keep on showing up in a lot of my videos because uh, this is actually what I built the belt sander for. Uh, these little builds where I have a small adjust adjusting that I need to do on a particular piece. And in this case, uh, because I'm going to be gluing uh, these two pieces together, I needed a particularly rough finish on it, as you can see there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is sand that down to a slightly finer finish, because I didn't want to change the belt on my sander. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to silicone these two pieces together. I find if you leave uh, two pieces of aluminum like this unroughened uh, up, 
Uh, the silicone doesn't stick very well, but once you uh, add a bit of uh, sand to it and uh, clean off the surface afterwards, you end up with this where you can't haul them apart. And then what I'm going to do is just going to bolt the other two pieces on, and then I'm going to do uh, the same kind of finish that I had on the rest of the stand onto the rest of these parts. And then uh, once it's glued underneath the tank, uh, sorry, underneath the pump, uh, it becomes virtually unnoticeable. So there we go, it's all set and ready to go. And now we can go back to uh, the tank, and what I'm going to do here is uh, install the pump and uh, put that bracket underneath. Uh, just to take the weight, especially during the part where the glue is going to be uh, curing. Uh, it takes a very short amount of time for uh, this type of glue to cure, but in that short period of time, like I said, it can easily get slightly out of alignment, and then once it is cured, uh, it's done. There's nothing you can do short of uh, cutting the piece of pipe off and uh, trying to redo it all over again. And that's, uh, again, like I said, not acceptable. So there we go. We're going to... Uh, silicone on the bottom of this plate and it's going to sit right underneath the pump and like I said once it's on here all you're ever really going to see is that one piece of uh, pipe that's sticking down uh, sorry one piece of angle iron that's sticking down and uh, it will uh, like I said do the job make sure everything nice and straight and that's what I'm going to do here right now is uh, adjust everything make sure it's aligned the way I want it to be and there we are we're all done the, this is the return. The water's going to come up through here, go through the pump, and then up and across and through into the tank itself. I'm not going to bother showing you the other end. You can see it plumbed right there now. Uh, same sort of process. And what I'm going to do here is uh, fill up the tank, and you're going to get to see it run, <laughs> finally. After, uh, well, this is what, video 5, I think? Uh, I'm going to fast forward to this, obviously, because uh, watching a tank fill with water is even more boring than watching me fill and uh, sorry me glue pipes onto tanks so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill it up uh, until it reaches that uh, which is the output that hole there which is the output for the tank which will go down to the filtration system and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen and wait for uh, all that filter to fill up and then wait for the water to uh, get past where the pump is going to be so it will prime the pump and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the water and then uh, turn on the pump for a, a short quick burst to flush out any kind of dust and debris that might be in uh, the filtration system and then I'm going to shop back that out because uh, well it's <laughs> dirt <laughs> and also you see me here uh, just doing a quick inspection making sure everything's not leaking and doing what it's supposed to do so we'll turn that off it's just getting up to where it's going to trickle over to the other side and then what I'm going to do here is undo uh, the the cord for the pump and I'm gonna plug it in and there you go just a little squirt just to, like I said flush it that out and then I'm gonna use a shop vac I tell you shop vacs are <laughs> the most useful tool I think I have I mean this is a big old guy that's uh, five gallon and I've been using it forever and it just sucks out water in, in no time at all and like I said just uh, makes it a little bit cleaner so I'm gonna turn this back on first I'm gonna turn on the water again then I'm going to turn on the pump again, and it's going to flush out a little bit more dirt. And what I'm going to do is just fill up the rest of the vac with this, just so uh, we'll start off with as clean the water as possible. There you go. And there you go, five gallons filled just like that. So now this is going to fill up the rest of the way. Uh, I'm not going to fill it all the way. I never fill my tanks uh, the first time I, uh, I run them all the way to the top because I like to allow any settling that's going to happen to uh, uh, be gradual so I'll fill it up so that it actually runs which means it has to go up above uh, where the joining tank is and once it's doing that I'm going to shut it all down and also because uh, you see the water coming in there it causes a little extra turbulence and that will uh, help uh, you know get the gas bubbles out of the tank and uh, get everything uh, functional and ready to go so we're just going to go up another uh, couple inches here, and then I'm going to turn that off, and then uh, let it run for a few days. So we're pretty much at the end of this build. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this style of video. And if you do, please like and or subscribe. 
And what I'm going to do here at the end is I'm just going to show you... Well, there you go. You can see actually the current with all the dust that's in the water and the gas bubbles that are floating in there and the stuck on the glass. Uh, the current will actually be really kind of neat to see as uh, I mean, when I have the plants and such in there. and It's, uh, it's going to be uh, interesting. But I'm going to leave that for you uh, for the next video. And what I'm going to do at the end, though, just because uh, I want to, I'm going to tease you with a little bit of a video, just a short clip, showing you with just a few things in the tank, uh, just to show you a little bit of what it's going to look like. This is actually my favorite angle to uh, view the tank at, uh, once it's obviously finished cycling and everything, because uh, you'll see it later on. So here you go, a little sneak peek. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.